The PJ Tour and Live Golf are merging. That's right. I actually just said that, and it's also sort of true. All I have to say to that is, what the f I mean, you guys, nobody saw this coming. The players found out at the exact same time we did, which is both hilarious and also really sad. So what exactly happened? Jay Monahan, commissioner of the PGA Tour, and Yasser al Ramayan, head of the Saudi Public Investment Fund, aka PIF, aka Live Golf, went and did an interview on Squawk on the Street and said that they both had tentatively agreed to partner up essentially and end all litigation between the two parties moving forward. So what exactly is part of this deal? Well, it's all really just kind of a high level plan at this point. There's no actual agreement. They have like a framework for an agreement, um, but nothing's been like completed or signed as of yet. Here are the high level bits that I think are kind of worth extracting from this letter that Jay Monahan sent to the PGA Tour players. He said, through a framework agreement, the public investment fund, PIF, is contributing its golf-related commercial businesses and rights, including Live Golf, along with a significant financial investment toward minority equity ownership of a new collectively held for-profit LLC. This new entity, named TBD, will also include the PJ Tour's commercial businesses and rights, as well as those of the DP World Tour. So basically, they're creating a new for-profit company that PIF is going to have a very large stake in. But Jay is going to be made the CEO of that company, and it's going to kind of be an umbrella company that's a for-profit company for the DP World Tour and PGA Tour. Um, but Live Golf would end up really just ceasing to exist at that point. So what exactly does all of this look like? And honestly, I really have no idea. And I don't think really anyone else does either. Like I said, it sounds like these, these two guys had like some conversations over the course of like seven weeks. And they really just like played golf and talked about this stuff. And so they probably were just able to come to, you know, a, a, a verbal agreement and had someone kind of draft up the high level bits, which is like the letter that we see here. But the, the last few bullet points in this letter are really just talking about how the PIF is going to basically just be handing this new company and the DP World Tour and the PJ Tour gigantic bags of cash moving forward. What's my take on all of this? To me, if I was a player, finding out this way is honestly a fireable offense. Like, I, the first person I would point to is Jay being fired. Uh, it seems like there's some players who are defending him and like can understand his side of, of things. Uh, that being said, I still think it's inexcusable that a player run organization has to find out from just like basically everyone else, which you know, it makes me question whether or not that, you know, I mean, how much of this is really run by the players when it's all said and done? I think the, the last thing is that this is being pitched as like a win for the PJ Tour and Jay is definitely like on that campaign, but this really feels like a gigantic win for Liv. All those players, they get to leave, they got their bags of cash, they're going to get to come back in some way, shape or form. Are they going to have to pay a penalty? Probably not. And Liv Golf, you know, Basically, Yasser wanted a seat at the table and he finally gets a seat at the table and PIF money is going to be flowing through all of these tours now, which is exactly what they wanted from the get-go. So, it doesn't really feel like a win for the PGA Tour. That's all I got on this for now. Still processing, I think, just like everybody else. Uh, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts, so do me a favor, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am going to be doing a giveaway on the channel for when we reach 100 subs. Uh, it's going to be a $75 gift card to the PJ Superstore. So definitely subscribe if you want to be included for that. That's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.